gift cards. I'm sure I'm not the only one that has a pile of these laying around. I went looking for one the other day, and as I was going through some of the gift cards that I had, I came across this old Best Buy gift card. I don't shop at Best Buy very often, so I never think to go looking for a Best Buy gift card in my stash. And when I looked at this one, I was surprised to see that this one is from 2015. So I've probably been sitting on this for like seven or eight years now. Surprisingly, there was $25 on it still. I don't think there's any money left on this gift card though. I just like to keep it as kind of a neat souvenir. I should probably spend this one though before it also becomes useless. I decided to go to the same Best Buy location that I used to go to in high school to buy music and movies at. I figured $25 should be enough to get a record or a movie. Like I mentioned earlier, Best Buy is in a store that I shop at very often, and as a matter of fact, I can't remember the last time I was in one. It may have been four or five years ago when I did a video covering the fact that they were no longer going to carry CDs. When I got here, I wasn't planning on doing any filming, I was just going to grab a record and head out, but after spending a few minutes in the store, I was shocked at how empty it was. This was in the middle of the afternoon on the weekend when I would expect there to be some people wandering around the store. I really started getting Fry's Electronics vibes and at that point I decided to do some filming. Now this video isn't intended to be like a deep dive on Best Buy, although I will be doing that eventually. In this video I just want to cover some of their recent financial news and also just my experience in their store as a customer who hasn't been in a Best Buy for several years. I did eventually make my way to where the records were and I was actually kind of shocked at how limited the selection was. I think my local Target has a better selection than this. Even though there wasn't much of a selection, I did find something I wanted. I grabbed the Purple Rain soundtrack. I have this on CD and on cassette, but I don't have the record. I wonder how many other formats this was released on. I did find one other small display of records, which was weird. Why are these separated over here? Now I did grab that Purple Rain soundtrack, but I figured I should go check out the movies too just to make sure there's not anything over here I wouldn't rather have instead. But like the record selection, the movie selection here is also very small. Smaller than I expected it to be. I know that the sales of movies and TV shows on physical media have been declining so the small selection makes sense, but it still sucks now that the streaming services are constantly removing things. There wasn't much to look at here really, so I decided to go check out the video games and see if maybe there was something here on clearance. And I was kind of shocked to see the limited selection of stuff here as well. Although I was very happy to see a actual video game demo unit, I'm glad that Nintendo still does these. I used to play Gran Turismo on a PlayStation 1 demo unit here. There wasn't really anything over in the video game department that I wanted to spend my gift card on either, so I decided to just kind of check out the rest of the store and kind of experience the emptiness of it. The stacks of products just thrown into the middle of the aisles was helping to make it feel like Fry's Electronics in here, and because it was feeling like that in here, when I got home I decided to just really quickly look and see how Best Buy has been doing the last few years. And uh, apparently things haven't been great. For example, sales this holiday season were down, and comparable sales for the last fiscal year were down almost 10%. They've also closed 70 stores over the last three years and laid off about 20% of their workforce, or about 25,000 people. Best Buy has also said that they plan to close around 20 or 30 stores this year, and then 15 to 20 stores each year after that. I had kind of assumed that things weren't going great for them, but I don't really hear them talked about much in the media like Sears and JCPenney's and Macy's and the struggles that those chains have, so I was kind of surprised with just how bad things have been. They're definitely on my radar now though, and I will be checking out more locations because, like I said, I haven't been to a Best Buy in several years so I have no idea if them being this empty is a normal thing for all of their stores or if this just happens to be a store that's really struggling. This location has one of their Magnolia home theater centers and I thought Magnolia was just a goofy name that they gave their home theater section of their stores, but apparently Magnolia was actually a small store chain that sold audio-visual equipment that Best Buy acquired in 2000. This home theater demo room seems like it hasn't had any customers in it in a while and seems like it's seen better days, which is another thing that this place has in common with old Fry's Electronics locations. It really was just kind of musty and dusty in here. 
I don't necessarily think that Best Buy is doomed, but I do think that what they've gone through the last three years and just some of the stuff that I saw and experienced in the store are not encouraging. Best Buy has struggled before though in the past and they've come back from it. And like I said, after I've had a chance to visit some more locations and do some more research, I will be doing a deeper dive video into Best Buy. Speaking of videos, the reason why this one is as short as it is is because I'm in the process of working on some other much longer videos and I just need a little bit more time to get them done. The next episode that comes out will be covering a very dead mall in Southern California. Back to the subject of Best Buy though, if I had to sum up my shopping experience with one word at this Best Buy location, it would be depressing. I remember many years ago I would be excited to come to this location to get the latest CD or video game or a movie or something. Now it's just completely devoid of people, it's kind of cluttered with just stuff thrown all over the place and it's just filled with a lot of expensive stuff that nobody really has the money to buy right now. That's where we're going to wrap up this quick look at Best Buy though. As always everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this quick look at Best Buy. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because it's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the Retail Archaeology channel.